video, I'm going to show you step by step how to design a dark themed website that looks like this. I want to share the tips on what makes a dark themed website work. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with a Divi. All right, so I have a blank page uh, open here. So the very first thing we need to do is to add our colors to this particular page by clicking on this gear icon. Next, you want to scroll down here to background. Now you can see here, I've already gone ahead and added a content area background color by just uh, selecting it here. So I want my content area here to be dark. So I'm going to go with a really dark color here. In fact, you know what, let's go with black. And then for our section background color, we can also set our color here. So the color I want to add in here is uh, all twos. So as you can see, it's been updated here. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. So as I'm designing here, let me just quickly show you what happens. So if I add a new section, you notice that it comes in with a background color. So that's how easily this is going to speed up my workflow. All right, so now let's start adding our content. So I'm going to click on this plus button and add a full width header. So this is going to act as our main hero area. So I want to come now and add my dummy text by just pasting it like that. I also need a heading, so I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Now for the button, I'm just going to call this Discover. Now, of course, I know I need to go in and customize this, but before we do that, let's go ahead and add a background color. So I'm going to come over here and let's add our background color as black. And let's, let's also add an image. Now, I already have images that I've added onto my media library. So all I have to do is to select my image because with this one, I can add my text over here to the left side. Let's, um, let's add a blending mode. I'm gonna come over here to my image blend and we are going to go with soft light. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. It looks all black, but if we now come over here to our background, we can simply drag this transparency slider down and reveal a bit of the image, just like that. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So now we can go to design and click on layout. So over here on the layout, we wanna make sure that this is a full screen, so it's nice and big. It's covering pretty much everything. And I can see here my text here is going to be a problem because it's stretching across the whole page. So let's fix that by coming over here to sizing. And for our content width, we can set this now to about uh, maybe 78%. We can also decide what we need to do with our other devices. So let's go in and see what how bad this looks. It's not too bad actually, but you know what? On these devices, let's just keep it at 100% and the same for the phone. Now that we've set everything up, the next step is to go in and customize this text. So I'm gonna start here with my title. So my main font I'm gonna use here is Poppins and select it. Come over here to our weight and set this to bold, all caps. And now let's adjust the size. So let's go nice and big. We're gonna go at about 72. But of course I know this is not gonna look great on all devices, so I might as well just check and see if everything is looking great. All right, so here I think it's fine, but definitely on the phone, that doesn't look great. So let's reduce this to about two lines, which is going to be about 34. Okay, so that looks great. Let's go back. Now let's work on this description text. Again, I'm gonna choose Poppins. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. Now let's make the text bigger. Scroll down, increase the size a little bit to about 26. And for our line height, I can just look and see what works better. So I think 1.4 is brilliant for this. And then finally, I can, I can go now to my button here, activate use custom styles for button. And for my button text color, I want this black for my background color. And then for my background color, I'm going to set this to this orange. Right, so we, have a, we also have some text here we need to adjust. So let's go to our button font here and set this to Poppins. Okay, that's looking great. Let's set this to all caps, make it bold. But this time, you know, after we set it to bold, I think it looks better if it has some line spacing, some letter spacing. So let's go with two pixels. Yeah, I really like the way that is looking there. We have great contrast. Now let's save. 
So for this, I'm going to add a single column because in here we're going to add some text. And this text is just going to be text that describes that section. I'm just going to go with this, center it. And over here on the design, I'm going to click on text. Let's choose poppins for this because we want to make sure we have our consistency here with our text. Okay, so we're going to make it all caps and let's make it slightly bigger by increasing it here. So let's go with 18. Then uh, letter spacing, I think we're going to need that as well. The contrast is not really great. I mean, of course we can read it, but I think it will be better if we went in and increased this a little bit. So that's our text here that describes our section. Let's go ahead and save. Now let's add another row and this time we're going to add a gallery. So let's search for our gallery module. And now it's time to add our images and I'm just going to select these images randomly. As we look at this, we notice that there's a few things that we need to fix here. The overlay color is not great and the colors don't match. And also this description text here, we don't really need that. Okay, so let's go to elements and remove. Now all we have to do is go to do this design overlay and for our overlay icon color and then for our overlay color, we're going to go straight with black. But of course, if you hover over it, we are not going to be able to see what's behind there. So we need to drag the slider down and just add a bit of transparency there so we can see what's behind. I think that works. Okay, and then finally for our icon here, I'm just going to use this one here and that's going to be our icon. Let's save and let's go to our row settings and then we just need to come over here now to design sizing. So custom gutter width is where we need to change this. Set this to two and for our maximum width, let's set this to 90%. And for our width, 90% as well. Okay, so great. So we have pretty much designed this section here. Let's go ahead and save. Finally, we just need to go into our section settings, go into design and make sure that our spacing here is at about, let's say 8%. Now this just ensures that our, our design here has enough breathing space. Okay, so look at that. That is already looking really, really cool. Okay, so we have our hero area here and we scroll down, we have this section. Now let's continue on and add another section. So this time around, we want one that is a bit dark. So when I click on regular, let's go with two equal columns. So now that we have our background, we might as well go in and make a few adjustments. So let's go to our background. Now black is a bit too much. So let's just bring this down to about just about there. Okay, I think I like this. And while we're here in the section settings, let's go ahead and go to our spacing and set this to 8%. Okay, great, let's save and continue designing over here. On this left side, let's add an image. And the image we're going to add is already here in my media library. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it, click upload image and save. Over here on the right, you just need to add some text. Select that and we're gonna use our dummy text. So we're going to start with our title here and make sure we set this to heading one. And then over here on the design, go to our heading text, change our font here to Poppins. And as you can see, the color here is not easy to read. But before we adjust the color, let's set this to bold. Go with something like that. Now we need also one more uh, text module selected. Now it's time to customize the design here. Let's choose our font and our font is going to be Poppins and we're going to increase the size. I think 18 is great for this and this is quite easy to read. So we're going to leave it as it is and hit save. So as you can see, our colors here are really dark and the secret to making this work is just making sure that colors here have great contrast. So if you wanted to add another section, we could have a section here with this background color just below this dark one and continue like that. And pretty much this is how you design your dark themed website. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.